What's up YouTube? This is FJ and I have another unboxing video for you today and this one is thanks to Snowledge once again. But this time it's a little bit different. It's not snowboard goggles but cycling sunglasses. I do dabble in some biking from time to time particularly in the summer but you guys also know that when it does warm up when I'm snowboarding in spring conditions I like to wear sunglasses instead and they've sent me two sunglasses to unbox and test out. One in a soft pouch with the Snow Ledge branding and one in a fancy hard case with the Snow Ledge branding as well. So they do have a line of sunglasses already available on their website. Price point is very nice, 46 bucks. This one's down to 38 bucks. But if you do check out the catalog on the website, they do have a large line of options for sunglasses as well, on top of their very extensive collection of goggles. So starting with the soft case right here, the HB502. So when you look on the website catalog, spherical lens for a wide view, U-shaped nose design for quick exchange lens, anti-slip temple. So when I open this up, there is a snow ledge manual for how to change the lens, the sunglasses in a microfiber soft cloth. And there you go, guys. Very nice and clean. And I see now when it says the anti-slip inside, there's rubber along the arms of the glasses and the nose piece is also lined with like a rubber silicon. So I'm gonna put these on. Very streamlined shape, aerodynamic, very light. This is the, the main thing I think I'm looking for for sports glasses is how light they are. I think this is the same as the low potion on their website. There's an image here where they bend the frame and it says it's an unbreakable frame. Removal anti-UV lens, ergonomic design. Four pairs of extra lenses. There is another pouch inside. Separated compartments in the pouch. So you've got a clear. Clear lens, yellow lens, there, pink lens, glare blocking, polarized, so a polarized smoke lens. This is probably the one I'll use the most. In the past, I've worn various sports sunglasses for the summer, whether it be beach volleyball, if I'm running in the summer or just running in the daytime, I generally wear some of these sunglasses. And also lightweight, but definitely more rigid to the feel. This is definitely the heaviest, one of the heavier ones that I have. Here's another pair too, also a little bit heavy, but these are more like fashion pieces that you'd wear for the summer with a sport feel. I also have Callaway golf glasses, fairly light, but again, quite rigid, a little bit on the heavier side. Not to say that they're heavy, but compared to when I lift up the HB502, it's noticeably heavier than this. Moving on, I'm gonna open up this other case now, the hard case. Comes with a little carabiner there. So this one, inside there's a tag, and this one says the HB500. It comes with another card here to test polarization. Wear glasses to see the beautiful pattern. So I'm gonna grab this polarized lens from the first pair of glasses and I'm gonna put it in front of that. And look at that. You kind of see the outline of the fish there, but obviously it's for reflection purposes. And then you can see the fish once you put the lens over it. Continue on inside this package. You've got what looks like more of a snowboarding frame. It's got foam along the inside as well. There's a magnet on both corners of this frame. And then you've got a stretchy adjustable strap branding there, snow ledge. Definitely a more secure system to keep the lenses on your face. Oh wow, look at that guys. Look at the coverage. So similar lightweight frame, the rubber inserts on the arms for added grip and you've got foam on along the top for a better seal so then it's more stable while you're wearing the glasses. Let's put these on. Oh, these are sick. Look at that guys. Bigger coverage, field of view is nice and wide. The nose rests are quite helpful in keeping that stable and in place. So you have an option to use just the top foam for the seal, but you can remove that, remove the nose piece, and replace the foam with a full insert. They also have little notches inside to line it up in position. 
quite a comfortable fit. I actually like this as well for snowboarding purposes or when it's a little bit colder but still spring conditions. This makes more sense to keep cold air and moisture away from your eyes. You can press this little tab inside and the arms come out so that you can replace it with the strap. It's got a little hook there and it snaps in place. And now you have an adjustable strap for these glasses like that. These are really cool. I normally wear glasses, so I'd have to wear contacts when I'm wearing these, but I like these a lot. These are definitely secure. I feel the seal all around my eyes. So guys, this was the HB500 fashion cylindrical lens design available for both cycling sunglasses and ski goggles. Magnetic frame, quick change accessories for different usage, optional temple or elastic band, and you do have the ability to change the lens as well. So I'm gonna test out again with the polarized card. And yes, I can see the fish when I look through the polarized lens of the HP 500. Unfortunately, I can't show that to you guys because of the chrome dark lens. It won't actually show on camera. So it's a nice streamlined design with the helmet. Looks really nice. So there you have it guys, the HB502 and the HB500 cycling goggles from Snowledge. I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next one comes out. And guys, too, if you haven't already seen it, I've also reviewed a new line of snowboarding goggles from Snowledge, so check that video out as well. And again, if you have any experience with Snowledge that you'd like to share, please feel free to comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. So I invite you guys again to check out the snowledgeoptical.com website. If you use my code FJ5SNOW, all caps, you'll also get 10% off your order. Peace out, guys. Have a great one.